Hello everyone! I didn't upload last week. Why? Because Bren and I took five days off to relax and enjoy a home vacation. So today I'm gonna tell you everything about it. It was a unique vacation for your girl. Really. But first, I just want to thank you guys for the response to my last video, the video where I talk about my brother. I didn't expect that and even though I thought I was making that video to help other people, it ended up helping me a lot. I really didn't expect all the love that I received and you guys shared your experiences and that was really, really touching and my parents liked it too, so thank you. Now, let's talk about our staycation day home vacation we took three days off plus two days it's our, it was our weekend so five days total okay at first when this lockdown started we were supposed to go to america right and then the flight was canceled we're in a lockdown we can't so i thought okay you know what i'll just use this time to be productive to work to yeah you know but i think i got really tired and i was really tired and i was feeling it i was not feeling rested every morning after a whole night of sleep whole night i mean i go to sleep at 2 a.m but mm, i was feeling tired and i said i know we can't go anywhere i know we can only stay here and watch netflix but you know what i need time off first you need to know that when i take time off i usually never relax never i like to go out I like to go abroad and explore and learn and I have my plan because I love planning the vacation it's like part of the vacation itself I don't even go to resorts usually even though I when I go there I enjoy it usually I don't choose to go to a resort and just like you know lay out in the sun and relax and sleep that's not my style but sometimes it's necessary. So this vacation was unique. Why? Because I was forced to stay here, home. Couldn't go anywhere, couldn't see anyone. But in my life, the only times where I've done something similar was when I was sick. If I'm feeling healthy and I have a day off, yeah, maybe I might stay home one day, but then I'm going out. I'm seeing people, I'm doing things. So that was a cool experience. What did we do? We slept in every day. The first two days, the weather was terrible, like, come on. Good morning, everyone. Why? Come on, the weather has been so nice, but then I take days off and the first two days is like pouring. All right. So we watched a lot of TV shows and I love scary movies too, but Brian is not really a movie kind of guy. So we watched The Office. It's his favorite TV show and it's really, really funny. It's like a sitcom. I'm enjoying it a lot. So yeah, recommend it. And it's good if you want to practice your English. Then we cooked. I enjoy cooking. Usually I don't cook that much because I don't have a lot of time. When I finish work, it's usually 8 or 9 p.m., sometimes even 10. So I make something fast or I'm for lunch, you know, I'm in between lessons. So a salad, pasta, but something easy and fast. But during this vacation, I had time to cook a lot. How much do you think that is? If you put 10 of these in a bag, is it the whole bag, you think? No. You know, guys, the problem here is that I have an American husband and he uses cups and I don't have cups. So I'm using... U-S-A. A bowl. U-S-A. <laughs> now we have to put... This is my first time making brownies. Are you serious? Yeah. Welcome to the club. So I have to say that besides Easter, where we try to make some Italian desserts, we usually make American desserts. The Italian desserts are so like advanced good? and complicated. No, they're all good. Like, but sorry, I'm not gonna make cassata siciliana. Mm -hmm. That's difficult. But like we made chocolate chip cookies, we made banana bread, yes. now we're making brownies. All simple. American cuisine. Yes, guys, you don't know, but for Easter, we had a pretty traditional Italian brunch. So we made a chocolate salami and Brian didn't want to make it because he thought it was an actual salami and he was like disgusted. But then when he tried it, he loved it. It's chocolate, it's so good. And then we tried to make kutsupe. That was the first time for me too. So yes, they weren't perfect. We probably made some mistakes somewhere, but they were good. So yeah, we had a traditional Easter breakfast and we even painted 
our eggs. We even had a lot of fun. So cool, Brian is a monkey, Sonia is the best, yay! We made brownies. Mm -hmm. We played a lot of games. That was so cool. Vitre. No. G7. Aqua. D7. Aqua. Didn't they already see me playing? Like, we had a drawing competition. Sonia and I are playing a game. It's a drawing game. And you have three minutes and 30 seconds to draw mm -hmm. the other person's face down to the middle of the <laughs> neck. And whoever gets the better score based on your reviews wins. Draw My first. reviews? No, based on the, the viewers' views. What? So mm -hmm. we have to wait to have the results. Yep. Babe, we have clothes everywhere. People will think that we need. This is Sonia. <laughs> no, thank you. Yes, it's me actually. Didn't like this is Sonia. And you click the start. You're my Leo, but better. Okay. Make the exact same face you were making. Not that bad. <laughs> really? It's also not the best, but. <laughs> and look. <laughs> it's a little creepy, but it's not that bad. If I do like. True. Do we have a final product? It's extremely, extremely accurate. Without me seeing it, I'll show you. See how accurate it is? Extremely accurate. I have a feeling it's not accurate at all. <laughs> you can look. <laughs> oh my god. Yours is definitely more <laughs> really. I mean... <laughs> oh, Brian, hi. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought you were a little white. Okay, so if you don't vote for me, then I played online with my friends. I had never done it before. We played online, we played Dixit, it was so cool. I didn't talk to my family on the phone too much because guys, I don't know why I don't like to talk on the phone. I, I don't like it. Messages are okay, like WhatsApp, fine. But if you call me, I'm like, uh, I feel really awkward. I don't know what to say and I'm like, okay, uh, Talk to you later, bye. It doesn't matter how close we are. Like, you could be my mom. She knows, obviously. I can't talk to you on the phone. I'm not good at talking on the phone. When I lived in Japan for more than two years, I think, I don't know if I ever called her for a, an actual phone call. So yeah, we didn't do much of that, but I started listening to music again. I love music, but usually I don't know why. Maybe because I talk all day. When I get off work, I, I don't really listen to music. I'm like, peace and silence. But I enjoy listening to music. So I listen to music a lot. And I, when the weather got better, because it did. Okay, the weather is not perfect, but it's better. I went out for walks with my dog. It was relaxing, beautiful, nice. My dog was happy. Ushawa! See! Ushawa! And I started going out to look at the nature and the trees while listening to music. That was like a meditation exercise. And then, of course, we worked out every day it's so important for me for my mood to work out in this period so it was nice to have a lot of time to do it i'd say overall it wasn't bad maybe because of course it was only five days i understand that if you have like two months of this that's that's a lot and it's challenging especially because you know what i've noticed during those five days i started thinking a lot Maybe because I didn't have a lot of things to do, so I started thinking about all the people who were once important to me and they still are, and maybe there was a problem and I miss them a lot and all the... I don't know, my mind went a bit nostalgic and I was thinking about like life. <laughs> Couldn't help it. So I understand five days is okay. It's almost therapeutic, but two months, that might drive me crazy. I worked a little bit, but not too much, like maybe around one hour a day. Just a few lessons that I really didn't want to cancel. And the rest, 
I, if you know me, you know that I'm like, I need to do something all the time. I need to work, I need to be productive. I feel guilty if I'm not doing something, like if I'm not having fun with people and if I'm not working, what am I doing? The, during this vacation, I was like, no, Sonia, no. Play on your phone, <laughs> play on your computer, watch five episodes of that TV show in a row. So, not bad. Of course, let me just say this clearly. I enjoyed it because it was my decision, my choice. It was my vacation. It was five days. I understand how different it is if it's forced on you, so it's not your choice. If you'd rather be working, I totally get it. It's a different thing. But I wanted to tell you about our staycation because I think I had never had a staycation before. Oh well, yeah, when I was a little kid in summer with my brother and we would just play all day and I loved it. But in my adult life, no. To be honest, in the future, would I do it again? Yes, but maybe not here. I would try to have the same style of vacation, but maybe at the beach, somewhere else. Uh, I have been working this week and I feel way more rested and I feel more energetic and I wake up in the morning and I'm like, woo, I'm good. And all I needed was five days. Probably three days were not enough because the first three days I felt pretty tired all day. But the last two days I was like, mm, this is nice. If you're like me, every now and then you need to stop and you need to rest. You will feel way better and you will work better. I can feel it now that my lessons are better now because the last week I was too tired and now I'm like, good, Sonia, you did something good. I don't know when our next break will be because technically we were supposed to go on a cruise in June. Obviously, I doubt that's gonna happen. But I had blocked off 10 days for the cruise. We were supposed to be in Tampa. Now those days are still blocked off because I'm thinking like maybe if I can't go to America, I might have a, a vacation in Italy. There are a few regions I don't really know that well and maybe it would be nice to go there with Brian. So we'll see. Okay guys, I don't know if this was interesting but I wanted to share as usual. Again, thank you so much for all the love that you've been sending me. I really, really appreciate it and I feel even more motivated to share a lot of things of my life with you. Thank you for watching, see you next time. I wanna make up and I wanna make up. I wanna make up, make up. Let's make love. I wanna make up. I wanna make up. I've always thought it was make love.